Hi, this is Wiley Sharp with Denison Yachting, and today I want to take you on board a 2015 Fountain Peugeot Saba 50 charter layout, so six cabin, six head layout, located in the U.S. Virgin Islands. Uh, the boat's equipped and set up for crude yacht charter, and all in all, a pretty nice boat. I was just on her middle of December, and uh, let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, we're gonna start here on the Port Sugar Scoop. Two steps up brings us to the cockpit. You can see she's got nice, large stainless steel davits. Through this mechanical space, we've got our first of two Volvos. Through the uh, cockpit here is access to the uh, crew cabin. We're gonna respect their privacy. I'll post some photos of what that looks like uh, online in the listing so you can see that. Kind of do a pano through the cockpit here. We're gonna make our way up the port weather deck. Nice wide space. I like how on the lip here, you actually have like a good grab as you're making your way forward. We've got a single trampoline with the factory bowsprit installed. Through here, we've got the Ford port four peak. There's also a starboard four peak, so tons of storage there. Center line, we've got the run for the anchor locker as well as the anchor locker itself. Plenty of storage in there. It's a double spreader rig, Garmin Electronics with radar AIS. I love Charlotte, Amalie. It's such an underrated harbor in my opinion. Gonna make our way down the starboard weather deck. We've got the uh, helm arrangement here, which uh, one thing I like is I love how the, the throttles on the Saba 50 are on the outboard side. So when you're coming into a dock, it's really easy for close quarter maneuvering. I mean, you can stand right where I am here. And if you're coming starboard side too, you can actually help with the lines and everything. Four to the helm, we've got three uh, winches here. They're all Harkin winches on the Saba 50. The outboard winch is an electric winch. A couple of steps brings us up to the Sky Lounge with a nice U-shape settee aft, as well as sun pads up forward. Great visibility from the helm. And you can see here, we've got the uh, Garmin Electronics, Volvo controls, a chain counter, Garmin chart plotter. And uh, yeah, so you can either go down a few steps here to get to the cockpit, or you can make your way around the starboard weather deck, which is what we're gonna do. Coming back down on the starboard side, we've got the second mechanical space. On this side, it houses the Onan generator as well as the uh, second Volvo motor. We've got a swim ladder, barbecue grill, nice settee aft. On the port side, we've got a nice large, uh, um, I want to call, I guess that's an L-shaped settee with an island seat. So you can comfortably sit, you know, eight people at this table. Over on the starboard side, we've got another settee here. Below the helm, we've got a uh, refrigerator. And then on your way into the uh, salon, we've got an ice maker. Let's go ahead and make our way inside. Okay, we're gonna make our way into the salon. Port side, we've got a nice L-shaped galley, dual basin sink. We've got a drying rack on the uh, port side, a uh, oven, four burner stove. We've got cold storage there, as well as two drawer style uh, isotherm fridges here. Over on the starboard side, we've got a nice L-shaped settee. Center line forward, we've got the nav station with the lower chart plotter. As we make our way down the port companionway, you'll see we've got all of the electrical switches here as well as the remote for the Onan generator. The inverter control, all of that good stuff. Coming up port forward, we've got one of the six staterooms on this boat. I love the large outboard window here. Really lets a lot of natural light in. Semi walk around queen. And then forward of that, we've got the actual head, which has a single basin sink, vanity and mirror, and a separate shower stall forward. Making our way back, we've got the port midship cabin, which is in a thwart ship berth as well. Uh, this one's not a walk around, so somebody's gotta climb over one another to get in, but uh, you do have good natural light coming in through the window there as well as, let me turn the lights on here. Uh, I'm not sure where the switch is, but we've got a wet head here, center or midship port. 
really nice large size. We're gonna pop across to the salon here. We'll do a quick pano here. I love this salon on the Saba 50. It's just a great boat. And then we're gonna look at the three guest staterooms here on the port side. It's a nice long hallway going up forward with hanging locker on the outboard side. This port, our starboard forward cabin mirrors the port forward cabin. Nice window on the outboard side. And then a head very similar to the other head on the port side as well. So this is the six cabin charter layout, which they use the midship cabin on this boat for storage, which is kind of a good solution because there's, it's just kind of an awkward cabin, I suppose, although it would make a good crew cabin. We've got the midship head, which is for that crew cabin which is also a wet head, very similar to the head over on the port midship cabin. And then making our way aft, we've got the final stateroom, which is a semi walk around queen. Uh, plenty of windows that open up, a lot of natural light that'll come in here. And then the actual head, which has got a shower stall forward, vanity, sink, and the actual head. So this is a 2016 Fountain Peugeot Sabre 50 standby one. If you've got any questions on this boat, please leave a comment down below, shoot me an email, and as always, if you like what I have to say, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks and have a good day.